Are you looking for one of the least crowded beaches in Broward, but still close to the amenities? Hi, this is Jason with Road Trippin' with Takas, and we're here in my favorite place to come. It's a little more of a isolated area away from the big crowds, away from all the big buildings. Uh, a little wilder. Just want to show you around a little bit. As a third generation South Floridian, this is one of my go-to places especially in the morning when it's nice and quiet. You can see they have paid parking where you can pay by credit card and enter a number for an area. It's very convenient because you can do everything digitally. You just have to know your location and know there's no overnight parking. This is what one of the many parking areas in the northern section look like. If you listen carefully, you'll hear wildlife in the trees. If you want, you can drive a little bit further and park at one of the other areas that look almost exactly the same. We tend to park close to Evans Street, but any of the areas to the north will do. And here's another look at one of the parking areas, and there's nobody here early in the morning. We're going to drive down to the southern part of the park on Ocean Drive, turning in on Sheridan. This is where the majority of people like to go. We tend to avoid this area. We prefer the less crowded area of North Beach Park. Here are the times and the prices to stay at this place. And this is the main parking area for North Beach. You can see there's tons of parking over here, picnic tables. It's closed right now because we are here pretty early. We actually prefer going to the north part of North Beach, so. It's actually one of the beaches that I used to go to as a kid. This and Hallandale Beach. So whenever I come back down here in the summers, uh, feels a lot like home. See, it's one of the quieter areas. Even though it is pretty early in the morning, it's typically like this, nice and quiet. Usually a lot more seaweed on the beach in this area. It's not as groomed as say other parts of the beach by the big old hotels. You can see some ships right out there coming from Port Everglades. And that pier is Dania Pier. Pretty cool sky this morning. One thing to note, there is a dog beach a little further down from here. This one does not allow dogs. It's just really a great place to go if you want to get away from everyone. Just like everywhere. Please pick up your trash. And it's just right over here. So as you go further up the beach, you'll see a lifeguard station. And always heed the warnings of the sign. Sea turtle nest, you'll see quite a few of those on the beaches. Don't disturb them, let them lay their eggs. As a kid growing up in the 80s in South Florida, this was always our go-to beach because it was the closest one to us and it was the quietest. Uh, describing the sand on the beach, it's kind of that gray color. Not like Dustin where you have the white sand and definitely not like the darker Hawaiian sand. I've always felt it gets pretty warm in the summertime. So bringing flip-flops for me has always been a thing I've done. Let's get off that foot shot. If you do like taking pictures of a more natural environment and sunrise, this is the place for you. Andy boy. We weren't just hanging out at the beach that day, we were also taking pictures of the kids, doing some fun photography, and just feeling the good vibes in the morning. The 
lifeguard towers are really photogenic. Just imagine if I had used a camera other than a GoPro. There's the sun peeking up. Not as much as there used to be, but you can still see their shells on the beach. There's Gray washing off his feet. Don't graffiti, please. As you can see, even at the north part of the beach, they have showers for you to wash off so you don't have to worry about a sandy car. And remember, don't disturb the nesting sea turtles. So across the street from the beach, there's the bathroom. There's the beach parking. Over here, you also have access to the river. This is the nice pier you can walk on. Don't forget to go across the street if you've never been in South Florida. Check out the Intercoastal. It has a different type of beauty. It's still gorgeous. It's really unique. All right, so I'm gonna go along Ocean Drive and you can take a look at what it looks like with the parking area. As you can see, there's lots of places to choose from along the way. All right, we're back in the south now. Over on the corner of Surf and Green, there's a structure you need to check out. If you're interested in a little bit of Broward County and South Florida history, make sure you stop by the Carpenter House, especially if you like learning about sea life. And this is a Marine Education Center. Not open till 10. As you could tell, we obviously were here too early. We are early risers. Just wanted to show you around if you've never been here before. Awesome, it's made out of flip-flops. And straws. And they have a convenient little library here. And they do have parking here at the Carpenter House. If you are looking for a spot to check it out. All right, road trippers, I hope you enjoyed this little view of North Beach in Hollywood, Florida. Thanks for watching. Bye.